Am I alone at a table? Is that how this works? Uh, everyone's invited to it. Okay, no, I understand. Maybe it's going to be a friend at the table. It's okay. Sit at the table. Because now I have people behind me. I guess I'll start. James? Yes, hi. Um, so, first I want to congratulate you on the success of Sound of Silver. Thanks very much. Um, as with any independent music, there's usually a uh, backlash uh, against the tastemakers. Do you, um, you, how do you plan to address uh, the downturn? The inevitable backlash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've been uh, saving up uh, like mostly canned food. Uh, <laughs> some put aside some money. I've kept my tastes small so that I'm prepared for the inevitable backlash. I've had long discussions with Tim Goldsworthy, who is my partner at DFA, um, who ran Moax for a while, uh, so it's very familiar. Um, but not, not in terms of how you're going to handle it, but like marketing? Um, well, we decided to kind of like compile a list of people that are potential backlashers. And we've just been gathering information, and as people begin, like, as when we get the, like, mm, a little tired of DFA, listen is better type of stuff, we usually fire off a couple of missives with some details as to, like, things we know about them, or uh, early high school bands that made seven inches that weren't very good, things like that. And then it's usually kind of established, or, like, really glowing articles of terrible music. Um, and that usually establishes a sort of it's best for everybody, kind of quiet, that, that has sustained us since about 2002. All right. Okay. <laughs> Mueller. Okay, the way this works is I have nothing prepared. So without questions, I'm at a very, very quiet loss. What do you say to those who believe you let your brand of electronic rock music is a desecration of pure, authentic rock and roll values? I, nah, I don't say very much. Uh, I don't think there's a... Are there really that many people who really say that, do you think? Okay. <laughs> I'm just assuming. Um, you just... Ass okay. So the theoretical... I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a big... Uh, it's been a big issue. Usually the, the opposite is usually more of an issue that people get very excited about the blend and have decided that it's a good idea, when typically it's a really, really bad idea with really, really, really bad results. Uh, genre is not a very good, good thing. I'm wearing a power tie. Is this working? It's very powerful. Right? Red. <clears throat> How did you feel about the reception from the last two New York shows uh, from like, your hometown crowd? I felt Friday was a better crowd than Saturday. I think Saturday was a better show than Friday. And I can't, like, I think we played better on Saturday. I think the crowd was better on Friday. I was drunk on Friday. I wasn't particularly drunk on Saturday. So it's a gray area. Although I've had reports back from other people in the band who weren't drunk that Friday was actually a better crowd. And I wasn't just, like, beer goggling the crowd to a certain degree. So it's a difficult. I can't tell you that we should play worse and I should drink more. And that generates a good crowd. Or we were lucky to have a good, better crowd on Friday. Um, maybe because it was the first night, people were psyched more about the first night. Second night was a little more, a little more watchy. It was a good crowd. Saturday was a very good crowd, but Friday was kind of like a they 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 met us totally halfway. Um, Saturday, Saturday they kept they were flirting, but they non committal. Had the upcoming Studio B show. Do you feel that you'll be like more polished from having more time to practice, or? Um, I think it'll be about the same. Uh, it's, it, I don't find that we get better with the longer we play. I feel like it's just always some shows are really good, some shows are, are you know, it's a good night or bad. And it can be from anything. It can be if, if I eat too late and I get gassy. No, it's true. <laughs> that kind of thing. You feel bloated and you don't feel good and you're thinking about this and you try and not to jump up and down because it makes you hurt and it cuts into the lyrics. But I think Studio B will be fun because I think it'll be more of a, uh, more of a party vibe. I know it's an abuse phrase, but I'm going with it. Party vibe. Party vibe. Yeah, there it is. It'll be our first uh, 
It will be our first Brooklyn show. Yeah. Ever? I'm thinking about that. Uh, it might be our first Brooklyn show ever. I should know that. <laughs> but I, I don't. I have performed in Brooklyn in other guises, but I think it will be the first I'll see since.